We are starting a new series this morning for the next several weeks. Um, let's just see where it takes us. Um, we're going to do a series here, um, just connecting on to the end of the last one, which was the Millennial Kingdom. Uh, at the end of the Millennial Kingdom, it introduces a, a new concept, um, biblically, and that is that there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. We looked at this over the last several uh, months together. We went through the whole uh, arena of dispensationalism, um, and we talked about how that really, when we summarized it, uh, this was where God put Adam, and Adam messed it up, and when he did, it took God the next 7,000 years to fix it. And, and that's what God was doing. That's what he has been doing for the last 7,000 years. He's been, he's been, he jumped back into, the, in, into humanity's uh, dominion uh, and rulership of the earth. And through man, he brought promises and contracts and covenants and ultimately brought in a Messiah and a Redeemer and a Savior and took man out of the hole that Adam put them in and brought us back at the end a, of a, set up a millennial kingdom and at the end of that then he, he tidies up the whole mess. He judges sin and a, sinners a, and he judges, judges Satan and mm -hmm. demons and devils and angels and all sorts of stuff. It all gets sorted out and then this scripture here in, in 1 Corinthians 15, 20 it says, and when all things shall be subdued under him, and it will be at the end of the millennial kingdom, at the white throne judgment, when he's tidied it all up and, and, and administered justice uh, where, where necessary. When all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject. He put himself, even though he's King of kings and Lord of lords, even though he's ruling the whole earth and everything in it, and all authority has been given to him in heaven and in earth, it says, and then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that had put all things under him, which was God, God the Father. And here's the reason, that God may be all in all. So when Jesus fixes the whole thing, as he does at the end, he's going to turn it right back round then and give it back to the Father as it was originally intended to be. And that's when God's going to step in now and create a new heaven and a new earth. 